Hi, I'm Shannon from HouseImprovements.com and in today's video it's going to be fairly quick but I want to show you how to attach a new toilet flange onto a tile floor. So we've got an ABS toilet flange and it's going to fit over top a 3 inch diameter ABS pipe and where we're installing is right here. So we've got our our 3 inch pipe all cut and we're pretty much ready to go. I've got a little bit of a for me cutting it there's a little bit of a melted area there that could catch. I'm just going to get rid of that. So I just I want to show you how to install this and uh, drill through the tiles and mount it. So we've got a uh, tile floor or sorry tiles over uh, heated floor. Now there's no heat wires in this area so I'm not worried about those and it's all put over top of about an inch of wood um, subfloor. So we're going to be able to use wood screws. You could use the same basic method though if you were dealing with a concrete slab and uh, but you'd have to use uh, tapcon screws or some kind of concrete anchor. So basically you just want to get your pipe cut to the proper height so that it all fits on and the and the flange fits down in the in the tile here you can see that I had to uh, s smash off a little bit of tile now the toilet itself is going to cover like an area like this so right immediately immediately around that hole you don't have to be super worried about how it looks but okay so we've got that all ready uh, I'm going to use some glue here ABS contact or uh, cement I guess it is to glue the the flange to the pipe now I like these flanges that have the rotating base because your toilet's going to hook into this area and it's important to have that orientated right so with this type of base I can put my glue in, in here get this all glued on and still once it's dry the glue is dry I can still move that around to position it where I want and uh, fasten it to the floor they don't all come like this some of them this part is fixed to here so when you're gluing it on you've got to be really uh, conscious of your orientation of the uh, the uh, toilet bolt mounting areas to be sure you get them in the right spot so this one just gives me a little bit of freedom to adjust it afterwards and I can just concentrate on getting it glued on so and and this one also has a, a cap in there to keep the sewer gas from coming up um, and that just gets uh, taken out when you're ready to actually install the toilet. Okay, so we're just going to use some of this glue. Oh my goodness, that lid is on tight. You know, as hard as we try every time to get these videos, be it, have everything ready, there's always something I forget to have on hand. So, need to get this open. There we go. And I'm just using some towel here to protect the floor for drips. I'll throw a little bit of glue on this. Get a good liber liberal amount on there. Some on the outside of the pipe here. Right down inside. Now if you're working on a pipe like this, like I am, where it's mine's accessible actually from the bottom, if there's too much play in that pipe that's coming up through the floor, you're going to need to maybe have somebody either put some blocking in to support it better or you can have somebody down there you know just putting a little bit of pressure against it so when you're pushing down it's not just pushing the pipe lower and getting the slope out of out of whack okay so get rid of this make sure my lid's on the glue so now you can see I can still move this part around even though the flange is down tight to the floor um, and you want, you can see how this area is a little bit bigger, this keyway here. And there's, so your toilet bolt's going to be able to drop in and the head of it then will slide. If this was your bolt, let's just say, this isn't what they look like, but 
the big head drops in here and then it slides into this slot and it can't pull out. And that's what you're looking for. So you want, you want this slotted part to be, you know, parallel to the wall or whatever you're up against to about the center of the slot. So just give it a quick measure here. That should be pretty close right there. And then uh, because we're going through tile, we're gonna use some kind of masonry bit. Uh, these ones here are for tile and glass. They work pretty good. There's ones like this that are more for concrete. You might be able to use that. Uh, I find that generally they don't cut tile very well. Where this one will, uh, you won't get, you might make sure you buy a couple of them because you might not get more than three or four holes per uh, per bit. So hold this down where it is, put as many of the screws in as you can. This one here actually ends up kind of on a, sort of on the edge of a tile and in a half in a grout line, half on the end of the tile. It's gonna be really tough to drill that one. If I do it at all, I'll leave it till last. Uh, I'll get these other ones uh, in place and then we'll, uh, we'll maybe try that one. I don't think I'll be able to get a good start on it. But. So let's hold this in place and uh, drill one of our... Now, on the drill, I'm just using it in drill mode. It's not in hammer mode. Uh, it's not over there. I don't want it to hammer because I might uh, crack the tile. I just want it to drill and I'm in high speed. I should probably have a little bit of water to keep it cool. I'm just gonna bring a bit of water over here and uh, keep it close by to keep my bit cool. Okay, so I'll just hold the, the uh, piece that rotates from turning for a minute until I can get this started. Okay, so that one went drop through the tile. And I'm using a number 12 by two inch screw to attach it and that gets me down into my plywood well and will make it nice and secure. Okay, you don't have to super torque it up, just get it down there so it's solid. Now that that's held in place, I'll just double check it didn't move on me. No, nope, should be fine. That'll hold it in place now while I drill the other holes. That one was just through a grout line, so it was a little softer. Okay, so then uh, just take a vacuum, vacuum that stuff all up, and that's really all there is to it. So hopefully that helps you out if you've got to install a flange over top of tile. Uh, really pretty simple, as long as you've got the right drill bit and the proper screws, you shouldn't have any trouble with this at all. Appreciate you watching, and if you could click the thumbs up below if you liked the video, that'd be great. And uh, like always, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, um, and if you wanna do a little extra, you can check out our Patreon page as well. Thanks a lot.